uh, out to an issuing a statement against governors involvement with foreign governments and uh, the case in point is uh, um, Meru governor Peter Munya who said to have traveled to Somaliland and uh, because of his travels there uh, Somalia decided to ban uh, Mira exports uh, Mira imports uh, from Kenya and uh, I don't know because uh, we, we're still uh, experiencing this uh, county governments for the first time this is, a, this is the first crop of governors we're having how far can they go uh, because they also they also seem to be learning. They don't know. Okay, fine. How far? How far? How how, how wide is my boundary? Is it just within that county? <laughs> I think, Fred. In all fairness, I'm reading a lot of mischief <laughs> and the politics in that statement. You and I know very well that the process of recognition of a state uh, is a very lengthy legal process, mm -hmm. and in that regard, uh, Governor Munya. Uh, does not only lack capacity nor capability, but he lacks uh, the authority in law. So there's no way Somalia could have seen like no he's the kind of representative. He, he has no capacity mm. uh, to recognize a state. Mm -hmm. Now, even having said that, let's be honest. Kenya partially recognizes uh, Somaliland as a country, uh, as a state. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why when they're traveling to a different jurisdiction, they actually have to come to Kenya. Mm -hmm. and Kenya actually acknowledges them to come into Kenya with their passport. That in itself, there is a long legal procedure in law <coughs> that uh, recognizes states. And Kenya has actually literally uh, partially recognized Somaliland mm -hmm. as a state and that's the reason why they can actually fly in uh, <laughs> with, with their passports. Mm -hmm. So again, that is very political. You noticed immediately around four days after that, the president went there mm -hmm. and uh, had a discussion with the Somali uh, president. And, and you said to have uh, and, and they said that, 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 that they, they had to be recognized. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very political. Yeah. Now, if we have serious issues to discuss with Somalia, let's discuss the issue of boundaries. If we can discuss uh, with Somalia, uh, and very quickly we, we agree on, on these issues, why are we at the Hague mm -hmm. discussing issues of boundaries mm -hmm. and those are serious grave mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. that uh, would actually help this country yes. not uh, mm -hmm. having yeah. political gimmicks about mm -hmm. Mira mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know I was speaking to my good brother Honorable Hassan mm -hmm. who understands the Mira politics mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was explaining to me the different categories <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, before we come to you because uh, yeah. the issue of counties and how you relate with other uh, cities and even countries and we'll come to that but uh, on the issue of Mira uh, do you think uh, that it's purely politics or uh, did Governor Munya strip to Somaliland actually uh, well let, let me correct uh, 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 Brian Weke that we don't recognize we recognize uh, Somalia as a territorial integrity mm -hmm. and we recognize Somalia as a unitary state mm -hmm. so we don't recognize any of the uh, so-called states that have uh, declared mm -hmm. self-declared states yes. Uh, and uh, it is the main job of uh, the government uh, of the day to determine uh, international relations. Mm -hmm. It's not the job of county governments. And therefore what the State House has said is just to clarify uh, the different roles mm -hmm. uh, and to ensure that uh, uh, governors do not put their foot uh, into areas that are outside their jurisdiction. And so I think this is a good clarification given the fact that uh, uh, f for whatever reasons uh, Mira was banned in Somalia the, the considerable economic cost of it mm -hmm. uh, to the people of Meru and to the people who are involved in the Mira business uh, is huge uh, and it should not be repeated by someone uh, either unintentionally or intentionally mm -hmm. uh, doing something that may affect our diplomatic relationship. Because the argument of the Governor Munya said that uh, <coughs> The issue had nothing to do with his visit to Somaliland. According to him, he says, uh, the, the, the Somalia airspace was actually shut down because of the IGAD summit that was uh, to happen in a week or so, and that uh, after the summit, uh, flights were going to resume. Uh, I think uh, the Somali government had clearly indicated that it was unhappy mm -hmm. uh, with the statements of two key Kenyan politicians, mm -hmm. including the leader of the opposition, mm -hmm. who said in Chatan Habsat, uh, if he were to be elected the president of the country, he would recognize uh, one of the uh, self-declared states in Somalia. Mm -hmm. And also for a governor to be visiting uh, a region that has also said that it was ready to um, break away from the rest of Somalia. So I think that has created a lot of anger mm -hmm. in Mogadishu. And that anger might have translated 
into the burning of the cart mm -hmm. or, or, or mirror. And I, in fact, accompanied the president to Mogadishu uh, for the eager meeting. Mm -hmm. And I think it was an issue that uh, um, had uh, considerable costs for us in terms of our economy. Mm -hmm. And I think it is not an issue that we can play around with. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it is a warning to other governors that uh, if they want to enhance relationship with other countries, mm -hmm. they, f they should follow the, the procedures laid down uh, by the government, the central government, and they should seek advice mm -hmm. from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs yes. before uh, they visit those countries or they articulate any uh, issues relating to... We have a deputy governor here, and how yeah. far is your government allowed to uh, interact with other, go uh, other governments, uh, sovereign countries, uh, cities, mayors? We don't, uh, we don't live in a vacuum, mm -hmm. yeah, and there's no lacuna in the law. The law is very clear, yeah. Uh, foreign relations, international relations, foreign affairs in Schedule 4 of the Constitution gives that function to the national government, and the governors know that, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what my brother Yusuf Hassan is saying, Mashimiwa, is that we can't visit, as a governor, another country unless we ask for permission from the foreign affairs. Uh, that can't be true. You just go to the embassy, you get a visa, and you go. Mm -hmm. yeah? No, I now, didn't say that. I, I said that you need to seek a position on a country from our Ministry of Foreign Affairs if you're going to pronounce yourself on uh, foreign affairs but, and international relations. But Governor Munya did not pronounce himself on anything. Sure, he yeah. has seriously <laughs> no capacity mm -hmm. to go and recognize a state or uh, go and do bilateral talks. With his presence that in that another, state, we talk. presume to mean that... And that's what I'm saying. Uh, if I travel to the United States, doesn't mean that now I have a bilateral engagement with the United States as a deputy governor of Nairobi. It doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that. Yeah? So this is all politics. And this politics, to tell you the truth, is coming in because Governor Munya has refused to join Jubilee. Mm -hmm. yeah? So now they're trying to punish him and they're trying to use this Mirac crisis, which is very important from the region or the county where it comes from, to make him look bad. Otherwise, there's very, very grave con consequences for a governor to do the functions of the national government. Mm -hmm. He'll probably be having impeachment motions, he'll probably be in court, like uh, Governor Mutua right now is in court because he used county money to buy security cars, and security is a function of the national government. Mm -hmm. So he's in uh, court, and the anti-corruption has, mm -hmm. has tried him on it. So I think it's just pure politics. I think it's a jubilee politics because Munya is from a supposedly a jubilee zone and he has refused to join jubilee. So they are trying to punish him. I think um, I, I do, I like to disagree with that. I think to a certain extent it is very mm. clear that uh, the, 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 the governor uh, stepped out of his normal um, responsibilities and as a result of that um, caused damage to his own uh, uh, his own uh, county's uh, economy. Are there mechanisms to punish him for such uh, an action? Mm -hmm. If at all he actually stepped out of his uh, jurisdiction and did something that he shouldn't? No, sometimes uh, politicians in this country make some silly statements mm -hmm. uh, to gain political advantage. Uh, and um, uh, the, in this particular case it has backfired. And I think it is unfair to be... Uh, uh, well, putting uh, it at the door of the Fred, Jubilee. Uh, uh, Fred, Fred, let, let, let me ask you a question. Let's be very honest. <clears throat> the law is very clear. Uh, and I want to agree with the, the Deputy Governor. The law is very clear on uh, the role of the national government as long as mm. the role of county governments. Now, uh, we can't even discuss whether to arrest Munya or impose, I don't know, what sort of fines, because he has no capacity nor legal capability mm -hmm. to recognize a state. Now, when I, when, I, when, I visit, hear, when I hear my brother, uh, Honorable Yusuf uh, Hassan, mm. saying that uh, uh, Kenya does not recognize uh, Somaliland, I agree. And that's the reason why I've told you Kenya partially mm -hmm. acknowledges and recognizes Somaliland as a state. Mm -hmm. Somaliland, if you have a passport, a Somaliland, a Somaliland passport, you cannot go to Uganda. But guess what? With that passport, you will come into Kenya. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. We have partially recognized uh, that it is a, a state. So when Moshimiwa Yusuf Hassan comes here to say that uh, apparently what Governor Munya did can be misconstrued to mean that Kenya has recognized that state, you know, clearly, but I can tell you for a fact, this is, this is what politics. Has happened. Mm -hmm. This is politics. Yeah. The politics of Miran no, no, is no. the politics of Meru County, mm -hmm. is the politics of Tarakanithi County. So whoever but it imagines, has an whoever imagines, for, for whoever, whoever yeah. imagines yeah. as somebody who would be able to deal 
with a problem. You know, just the other day I saw Jubilee government, uh, and my apologies if I look like uh, uh, I'm against the Jubilee government. When they decided to give the Meru's one billion uh, Kenya shillings to try and cushion them from the fact that there is no market for Mira, and they thought that that will go very well with the people. Now guys have said, you give us one billion to do what with it? We want a market. The one billion uh, Kenya shillings will not give us the market. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Munya has been trying to look for other markets. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing wrong with uh, Jonathan Mweke today going to the United States to look for a market. Mm -hmm. for I think uh, Brian needs to be correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, let me correct. Let me let correct. Me, uh, correct. First of all, what has do. happened is that, um, uh, is that uh, uh, the, the governor goes to a region which is not, not recognized by our state. Makes, makes a public statement to, re to say that um, he would recognize uh, that state. In, retali in retaliation, <laughs> in retaliation, the government of Somalia takes action and bans Mira with considerable costs, economic costs to the people of Meru. Now, what uh, we have done is that the president had to travel to Mogadishu to plea with, uh, uh, with the government of Somalia to unban Mira. In other words, the government has taken a lot of time and effort to correct uh, that mistake. And so to accuse the Jubilee government of politicizing this issue, when in fact what it did was to correct a, a mistake uh, that has come as a result of loose talk by uh, a governor of a particular county, is, is, is something which is obvious. Uh, well, well, mm. you, you know we are talking about functions, yes. yeah? and I usually like to stick to, uh, to the facts, mm -hmm. because the facts are there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now trade is a function of the counties. Right. And uh, investment promotion is a function of the counties and one of the things that the governors are responsible for, yes. to bring investment opportunities, which brings wealth creation and job creation mm -hmm. in their counties. Yeah. So Governor Munya was going to Somaliland to uh, get his market for where the Mira is going to go to mm -hmm. from Meru. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's no different from how people go to the United States. But it didn't, didn't work out. Mm -hmm. yeah. It didn't work well, out. We're saying he was yes, completely it, in it, his it, jurisdiction. Yeah, in but just listen to me mm -hmm. for a little bit because we listen to you. Uh, so he went just like would go to uh, uh, United States or to China to find somebody to come and build houses in Nairobi mm -hmm. or put in a mass transit system in Nairobi. Governor Munya's economy is run by Mira. And so you've done something similar in Nairobi. Yes, I mean, and governors do that all the, all the time. Mm -hmm. We go and look for investors. We go and twin with other cities because we're allowed to. Mm -hmm. Like the twin sister for Nairobi Market. is uh, is, uh, is Denver. Mm -hmm. And we exchange medical equipment, we exchange scholarships, and so on and so forth. We're allowed to go and do those things in foreign lands. Mm -hmm. So what Governor Munya was going to do is, his economy is centered around Mira. So he was going to look for a market for the farmers of Mira in Somaliland and expand the market. But it didn't ca people. create a market. And he did exactly no, that. But no, it caused the damage. I think someone should uh, honestly say mm -hmm. some mistake was done here. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, uh, I did not intend it to. But to blame it on, on the political mm -hmm. process in, in, in the country on Jubilee is a mistake. Because if it was getting trade, it didn't get trade uh, for Meru. In, in, in fact, it caused a damage. So instead of saying some, uh, that um, the visit and the statements that were made uh, had caused damage and uh, the governor is sorry for it uh, and, and did not intend that, I would understand that. But if you insist on saying that uh, it, was uh, right. it was right, it was obviously not right because the result is negative. You know, it has a you know, serious economic <laughs> implication. Let, let, let me mm. say this. Uh, I've never seen Honorable Yusuf Hassan defending something very passionately mm -hmm. in the way he's doing. That's a clear indication that there is a script. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very sad that we are playing with the lives of our people. You know, Mira for the Meru people. Mira is such a big deal for them. Mira is their livelihood. <coughs> Mira is their job. Mira literally controls the economy of Meru. Mm -hmm. Now, when we start playing politics, with the issues of recognition, which we know very well that the governor has no capacity to declare a state uh, <laughs> for Kenya to recognize that state. Mm -hmm. This is purely politics. And uh, really, guys, uh, politicians, we need to look at the interest of our people. Mm -hmm. The question is, uh, you know now the debate has degenerated to uh, the, the market that is only there is actually uh, Somali. So and it's a massive market. Uh, can you allow me? Mm. Can you allow me to, to, to <laughs> finalize? <laughs> I know you have a script which you will uh, finalize in terms of uh, uh, putting forth. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, 
the debate cannot be uh, about Somali because uh, even the president cannot deny Somalia uh, and Somali nationals uh, getting our mirror. Our mirror is quality mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, you will not find that anywhere else. So they have no choice. It is a market that we have. The questions we need to ask ourselves, where do we get another market? Mm -hmm. How do we get another market? Okay. Tanzania uh, is next to us here. Yeah. Why don't we have bilateral yeah. talks? Yeah. For so that we can, uh, yes, they've actually banned Mira. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Why and, don't and, we? and the United Kingdom, when the United Kingdom banned Mira, why didn't the president go to London? Mm -hmm. to go and unban it. And, uh, and, uh, it's all politics. It's all politics. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll be taking a short break and uh, we will uh, be leaving that uh, Nothing to do the with headlines the about <laughs> Mary County and come back to Nairobi because a lot has been happening in Nairobi over the past uh, two days over the weekend and uh, I think the standard captured it uh, perfectly and you can see the front page of the standard rivals fast face off after defection round you can see the two main political uh, alignments that's uh, uh, ODM on one side and Jubilee Party on the other uh, all scrambling for Nairobi and uh, incidentally we have uh, politicians uh, from Nairobi all three of them discussing this you know I'm saying that because in your statement you said we politicians so you do a a a a a a a a politician. <laughs> so for breakfast takes a short break we'll be right back <laughs>